right, what's up, Yens guys? Time for another video, and I'm going to share another one with you, and this is also going to involve sharing one of my, uh, the things, uh, gripes or etiquette hypocrisies here, one of which actually reminds me of one of my, that remind me of a Howard Stern moment that when I was working in a warehouse, uh, a guy I work with, um, listening to Howard Stern and Howard Stern chastised people for this and uh, so bear with me. And also, yeah, the reason why I've been making a lot of videos, pounding out the videos today, uh, real quickly out here, uh, pounding out so many, simply because I'll share another thing with you. In this area, there's some trees around and the cicadas that make a lot of noise. They haven't been very noisy today in interrupting the video. And I'll say real quick, uh, there were days that uh, the cicadas were so damn loud, you know, they almost hurt your ear. And if I even try to make a video, uh, it'd be too distracting for you. So that's why I pounded out a lot of videos. But anyway, okay, uh, one of these, uh, you know, double standard, uh, we call it etiquette hypocrisies, these double standards that kind of uh, really get, uh, kind of gets on your nerves a little bit, but and the Howard Stern moment, it's coming up, so bear with me. Okay, these people that like, um, okay, the people that are perpetrators of this are always the first ones if they catch you, who every little thing, uh, etiquette and hygienically, the, uh, in, even in moderation, that you had to get rid of a hawk or a cough. Unlike the macho man who's always, uh, the, the, the reason the macho, man cough, cough thing that I was saying about the stupid macho man, you know, in one of my videos. Uh, and there are some people that have let that go to a point. But anyway, the professionals, hypocrites, that some of them are dressed more professionally, sometimes in workplaces or places around you, or even some family members, or sometimes even around the church or whatever, they're quick to chastise certain things that you can't say, or etiquette things. They're always guilty of, say, everybody's quiet and working and doing some things, whether a computer or a desk, you know, usually sometimes a workplace is or whatever when everybody's quiet. Uh, there's always the, they think it's super cool and noble to always be clear in their throat to, <clears throat> unlike the macho man uh, style of doing it and the macho man sneezing always with a hawker too much, but in moderation sometimes has to be done, okay? The ones that uh, think that sometimes, yeah, fundamentalists do do it. They can make these annoying noises if they're dressed professionally and when everything is all quiet or whatever, or in a church constantly. Uh, if they have the super ultra mega cool uh, body language or stature, whether whether they're sitting or standing, and they do it all the time. Oh, if you are you have that stature, like, you know, the body language that says it's noble and super cool to do it, uh, other than macho or whatever, like, if you were to do an adult swim humor or maybe a black or white comedian on TV, it's mere maybe references to that that do it. I don't know, you can do a YouTube video parodying the shit, but, um, that, yeah, they're always, I don't know where it, and it's all the time. It's like, there's a, to a point where it's almost like, come on now, couldn't you go outside and get rid of that once and for all? You got to do it all the time. Almost like the snot snorter person, that, that grown person that don't blow their nose or whatever, or whatever. But anyway, uh, you'll get, um, an example here, there, here. Okay, here's the Howard Stern example. I'll never forget this on Howard Stern. Howard Stern was chastising a guy. On this. this was something like in the 90s, back when I worked in a warehouse. Somebody listened to Howard Stern. And I don't know if any of you guys listened to Howard Stern uh, back, you know, decades ago or whatever. Howard Stern, there was this, uh, there was the woman, you know, uh, her name, you always heard of her, but not her. There was always this dude that Howard Stern didn't really want around. He even said in a lot of cases on the radio, what do I need you for? I don't want you around here. 
what purpose do you serve? Uh, and even in some cases, can I pay you a bunch of money to just leave? I don't know if you guys remember that. And, it, and that was funny. There was every time somebody I worked with had Howard Stern, he said that. But anyway, there was a particular half hour lar argument that Howard Stern had with this guy. One time he was giving him hell. How come every time always you're always clearing your throat? Why don't you go to the bathroom below your nose or something? I mean, um, and the guy was would argue back with him. And anyway, Howard Stern and this guy argued back and forth for a good half an hour. And Howard Stern is this, Howard Stern was basically going, how come this got to be such an argument with you? Or in, I'm st why am I still arguing with you about this in a nutshell? And I don't know, you guys would have to have listened to Howard Stern at any time or if you can bring back any archival episodes of Howard Stern, the way people can listen to archival Casey Kasem episodes and other radio show episodes, but I'll never forget this. This was damn hilarious, and to this day, it reminds you of certain people, and they're even the more domesticated type that are allowed to, that they'll chastise somebody for a hygienic or a etiquette thing, and out of nowhere, you know, even say if you're waiting, in, they, they're around even times you're waiting in a waiting room with somebody, it can be somebody in the waiting room or somebody behind a desk, male or female. And it's always the, instead of the macho man, and it was the, and you would hear it every fucking two minutes. Well, Howard Stern gave a guy hell for that. And that always reminded me that I'll never forget that. Cause how can you forget that? Uh, he was literally, uh, ripping on the guy. And this was a guy, like I said, that, uh, any of you Howard Stern people, he was always tell, he didn't like the guy, I think, and it was always saying, what do I need you for? Always in past episodes when somebody I worked with had him on the radio and, and all that. But, um, and, and, I mean, it's just freaking hilarious in a way, hilarious and annoying. And it's a hilarious and normal, uh, annoying double standard, you know. And I could do another video on... The eating noises too, and sometimes the professional or the religious fundamentalist did all. That would be later. Did how some of them will make the most sexual sounding eating noises, and you try to point that out to, to shame them. Oh, especially the older ones of certain stature that you ever knew. And if you try to imply that to slightly shame them, embarrass them, you think it would because of the fundamentalist they are. They would come up with some super ultra cool statement to. That would just leave you totally dumbstruck and not even try, but that's another video. But the super ultra cool being noble to make eating noises, it dovetails into that behavior. It's pretty much the same fucking thing. Uh, it's like that too. Like if you're a more domesticated professional, they have their version of it, a double standard, but yet you can get chastised for, like I said, uh, undomestic or hygienic or etiquette behavior violations you can get chastised for violations such as that but they, but at the same time they have their version of it that's super ultra cool and noble with their stature that they can do it and not you or whatever the hell the yeah it's adult swim material if you wanted to do something like adult swim humor or family guy family guy type humor and i think the simpsons of done simple kind of similar humor but unlike the simpsons family guy actually and even adult swim uh went in the lines of a uh, the lines of slightly not quite g-rated uh innuendos of that and it was funny and some people found it distasteful but some people find it as ironic double standard truth you know what i'm saying <laughs>